so Susan just knocks out of the park with an incredible welcome. Joe the Italian comes up with the man, no mate of that, they don't do it. Maybe I love forever and take off his shoes, you know? And then Anne, Anne goes and works the room for God's sake. I think I'm supposed to tell you what's for dinner. I think that's my deal right now. <laughs> Father of the bride. Uh, this has been a very big summer for us from a number of different uh, viewpoints. Uh, my mom, of course, who's, who's introduced, uh, turned 96. Uh, mom, Aggie, Agnes Scherenbrock, 96. Uh, still, Still lives in her own house that she's been at forever where we were born, still shovels her own snow, still hangs wet laundry out in January because it smells better. Mom helped us set up this tent, which I'm really proud of. We'll be taking it down on Monday for those of you that want to watch. It will be on YouTube. Hashtag 96-year-old mother working. Uh, thank you to all those who have helped, especially uh, our son Matt and Kate, uh, our, our son Michael and Kate. Uh, we like the name Kate a lot. Uh, I mean, the only meets are, are from Brooklyn. Uh, Matt did an incredible job. Michael, the grandkids are from Duluth. Um, we could have, it's, it really has been a family affair. And of course, all the love and help from all their friends, uh, especially Jenna, who's been by Katie's side since the little girl time. And so. Uh, we, we can't say this isn't possible with all the love and help we've had. We had uh, hope for a, a, a good weather, obviously, but we invited people that mean the world to us that we love dearly. And this setting and this moment could not be more beautiful because the people that are inside this tent, which the sun doesn't make the day, but the love from your hearts makes it for all of us. Uh, from the family, Sharon Brock, uh, we open our hearts and welcome Patrick to our family. Uh, Patrick would literally walk on fire um, for our daughter. Literally, he did twice for me. <laughs> it was one of the requirements. <laughs> There's hot coals and fire. And, Can I marry your daughter? Would you walk on hot coals and fire for her? He said, yes, of course I would. He didn't know I was serious. <laughs> the first time was in a brand new pair of Nikes, which I think broke his heart more than anything else in this world. The second time barefoot, I think the Nikes being ruined was more painful. But he didn't <laughs> Patrick loves Katie so much. Uh, he actually read the book that I wrote. Um, <laughs> With Susan's help, I, I wrote a book. I haven't even read the book. Um, I have, other than what I put down, I have no idea what's in it. That is true love. Do that. Um, when, when Katie had her run in the hospital, I think a lot of you are familiar with that. It was just a, a tough thing for this past month. We didn't know if we'd uh, all be here together. And Patrick, in her 10 days in the hospital, four trips to the emergency room, never left her side. We encouraged him. We said, don't, don't you work for Fallon? Is, aren't you kind of important there? At least you told us that earlier. <laughs> don't you need to be there? We could not wedge Patrick from her side. Katie is in as his mother in the lavender and um, um, so Katie said, oh, Patrick, what can I do for you? He said, I just, I went, lavender would calm me. 17 products from Whole Foods came the next day that he brought in all lavender based. He would do anything for her. And that, as tough as that moment was, it was the most rewarding moment as a father, as a mom, to be able to say, um, there's something about loyalty that is important to this kid obviously by his friends from St. Cloud State, obviously from his friends from Fallon throughout the years, obviously from his family that is there to support him today. So um, loyalty is key, and I know that he will be eternally loving uh, to our daughter, and we welcome him to our family with open arms. Uh, our daughter Kate, uh, 
Kate is a traveler. Um, she went, of course, to New Zealand to drop your kid off 17 hours flight away to New Zealand and say goodbye. And she did her uh, years there in New Zealand and then off to uh, New York City and, uh, and then to Utah. And never once did Kate know a soul going there. But never once did Kate not return home with lifelong friends. Because she gives them the heart, she gives them the soul, she connects with people about what's important to them, now what's important to Kate. And she's always incredibly loving. And so for those of you who've traveled so far, when we say we're so happy you're here, that's beyond words how happy we are to support Katie and the lifelong friends that she has. I remember one time Katie was flying home from New York City to come home for Christmas. LaGuardia was absolutely packed. The weather was bad. The flights were just super packed. And you can imagine LaGuardia how, how packed it is. And, and there was a young gal about Katie's age sitting down on the floor just crying, just sobbing. And instead of doing a walk by, of course, Katie stopped and said, are you okay? And the young girl explained, I'm trying to get home for Christmas, back to Minneapolis, um, everything is full, I've been jacked around by the airlines. I, and she was just crying. And well, Katie at that point reached inside her backpack and said, you know what, I'm not sure what's gonna happen to you, dear, but here's a piece of dark chocolate, dark chocolate always makes things just a, <laughs> just a little bit better. Uh, at that point, um, she boarded the flight as she was supposed to. And uh, the last person allowed on the flight was the young gal she'd given the dark chocolate to, who ended up sitting in the middle seat right in front of her, didn't know that Katie was there, and told her seatmates, you will not believe what just happened to me. I was jacked up by the airlines. I didn't think I'd make this flight. I was gonna be at my home for Christmas and everything. And this angel came up and gave me a piece of dark chocolate and said, it's gonna be okay. That's our Kate. Everything's okay. So it's time now to, uh, to toast, to toast. Um, this is what I have in mind. Um, Patrick, Katie has brought into the, 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 the Scherenbrock family something that we have truly longed for, uh, an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, Frank Sidoti, Grandfather Frank, your father, Patrick's grandfather, came from Sicily. He didn't come from Italy, he came from Sicily. He was a good guy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And so uh, the, the German in us, uh, not quite, hang on, wait a second. The German in us uh, say Prost. Now, the Eastern Europeans in us say Nostravia. Uh, the Irish in us say uh, slancha, which means here's to the next one. <laughs> but now with Patrick and her family, we can use a beautiful word, salute. So if you raise your glasses, wait for it. Uh, for you. And may your lives together be blessed with laughter and love and tears of joy. We love you both. Salute. Salute. Enjoy your meal, everyone.